Uh, hello everyone, this is Manish here. So in today's session, uh, we'll understand about uh, strings in Java. So in Java, a string is a sequence of characters. So it's more, it's one of the most commonly used data type uh, and it is extensively used. So Java provides a built-in string class to handle strings. So we'll see. Um, and one more quite important concept is that strings in Java are immutable. Means once a string object is created, its value cannot be changed. And any operation that appears to modify a string actually creates a new string. So we'll discuss what are the mutable kind of strings. We have something called a string buffer and string builder and what are the difference between them. We'll try to understand. Uh, the first thing that we let us see over here at that we are understanding is initializing the respective string. As we said, string is nothing but the sequence of characters. So we, uh, so we start by initializing a couple of strings here, str1 and str2 with values hello and world respectively. Then in the second case string concatenation, concatenation is like you are going to add or um, concatenate two strings basically. So you find what we're we doing is we are concatenating string one and string two to create a new string concat string over here using the plus operator, okay? And then the next line that you're seeing for the string length, right? So what basically this does is this helps us to find the length of the concatenated string Okay, so this will tell us the respective length uh, for concatenated string. And then the next command that we are seeing is string comparison. So we are going to compare our respective string here. So what are we going to compare? We are going to compare str1 with another string s3, str3 in this case, and uh, using the equals method. So equals, remember Java is case sensitive. So in case of H E double L O that you see hello and one H with uppercase and one with lowercase will give you not equal. Unless we convert both to uh, lowercase or uppercase or we use equals ignore case. Now for string manipulation guys, uh, we perform various manipulation on string. Um, the original thing that you see such as we are trimming white spaces. So trimming white spaces means it will remove the spaces from starting and uh, ending. Okay, that is what trim is going to do. Uh, or we are converting it to upper and lower case that you can see the respective to upper case to lower case. Okay. And then a substring is going to give us a basically extracting a substring out of it. Okay, that is what substring is going to do. And replace is going to replace the respective string with another string over here. Okay. So now the next thing that we are seeing is the string formatting. So if we format a respective price calculation using uh, system dot out dot print uh, print a statement over here. So F is for formatting. So we are going to format this total price as part of to show pr price and quantity or, or the respective price quantity that we see. And this is what we are going to see. Plus dot two F is telling that we're going to print the total price as a part of two decimal places. Now what is splitting and joining? We'll see a splitting. Basically Java is a programming language as you can see for the strings and tens. And what is this words? Words is a array of string. And what we are doing is using the split method, which is already defined. It is going to be how we are splitting. We are splitting with spaces here. So it is going to split everything and it will, for example, words of zero will give you Java. Words of one will is A is then words of two is going to be A. Words of uh, three is going to be programming and words of four is going to be language. Okay. And then we are iterating word through words. This is uh, enhanced for loop that you see guys. This is how we uh, write to iterate through uh, array of strings also and even for the case for our collections that we use. Now, next thing that we are going to do is joining of an array of strings. How do we go ahead and uh, add? So we use join statement to go ahead and add respective strings in our case. For example, you can see string dot join. It will go ahead to convert all the respective joined as a respective string. The one thing that I wanted to take up is uh, string pool and heap memory. So we are uh, basic demonstrating a concept of string pool and heap memory by creating multiple string objects and we are checking the res references. As you can see, we are creating S1 as hello, S2 as hello and S3 as new string hello and we are comparing is X1 equal to S2 and S1 is equal to S3. For S1 is equal to S2 will get true, but for S3 we are not going to get. Why? Because whenever I said, whenever we create a new string, it has a uh, new references to be created. Okay, now what exactly is string buffer string builder? Remember I told you string is basically immutable, but string buffer and string mu uh, builder are the mutable strings and it helps us to manipulate respective string or to update the string. There's one difference between string buffer string builder is string buffer is synchronized, where string builder is not uh, uh, synchronized. 
and it makes the string builder more efficient uh, in the single threaded scenarios so in this case uh, we'll see so whenever something is not synchronized multiple parallel threads can multi threading can work uh, efficiently over there and will take less, respectively less time now we'll just go ahead and run the respective program we'll see the respective output uh, for all the statement that we have discussed so far okay so we'll quickly see first we'll start from first uh, remember we uh, discussed uh, for printing concatenate string so you can see first concatenated string is giving us the hello world the length of concatenated was 11 if you see and then we are comparing if string sc is equal to our respective str on which is equal both are same so in this case it is giving us true and then what are we doing we are finding the original string we are printing the original string as java program which concludes spaces now trimmed you can see there are no basically uh the trail spaces have been removed so there's no space in front and after if as you can see from here there's only one space we are given to print that is only one space that you see but there are no spaces in front or after of the respective string now this is too simple to convert into upper case to lower case and now substring is going to just Take a subtext of it that is VA program that is what the subtext from 5 to 12. So index 5 to 12 is going to be printed here. And we are replacing Java with Python. So you can see Java program is being replaced with Python programming now. The word Java was only replaced, so the programming remains intact and it is going to replace to Python programming. Now, the next formatting remember, we said it the output is going to be it is going to show price into quantity 10.5 into 3. It is going to come up to 31.5. Now, as we said, to print it in two decimals, that is the reason you are seeing 31.5. There are two decimals. Talking about splitting, we remember we discussed for splitting that split method is going to convert this into array of uh, string. So, uh, you can see for each iteration, for e, it is going to print the respective. Uh, strings now the next thing that we were talking is for joining the respective statement these are the various array of string uh, that were defined and we're using the join uh, method to add or to join these respective strings as you can see in the respective output we have uh, joined the respective strings here now talking about the pool and heap memory as we said that s1 is equal to s2 in this case it will be equal but when we are comparing with s1 and s3 it is not equal and it will give us false we're talking about string buffer still builder you both can see that it is uh, both are used to append and it will go ahead and append but as we discussed that uh, in case of uh, um, string buffer it is going to be synchronized and string builder is not synchronized so string builder is going to be more um, efficient uh, whenever we are uh, efficient in the single threaded scenario that we are going to handle Okay, so that is about strings in Java, guys. So we'll uh, go ahead for the next concept in the subsequent uh, session. If you like the video, guys, please go ahead to subscribe to the channel, uh, share, comment, and uh, share it with your friends. Uh, and also for any queries, please comment uh, in the respective comment box. And uh, see you in the next session.